Does this ram aerodate really work? Because I think it's quite an interesting topic and I did a lot of research and I want to share with you guys. Because as I said now, it doesn't really scoop any air because that's the front. Air will go like this and not like this. So then the main question is, will it actually work? And the short answer is no, it won't. No way, Jose! But there's a special reason, and it's not because RAM air systems in general doesn't work. Just let me explain. The thing with this engine is, it is rotated 90 degrees. Normally, this piece was the front. So the air directly got into this duct, into the airbox, into the engine. So how these RAM air systems work is, if you drive quicker, there is more air coming in to here. And that makes sense, because if you drive 200 km an hour, you will catch more air than when you drive 100 km an hour, or even 50 km an hour. The air becomes stationary, because it has nowhere to go. So then it becomes air pressure. And that's what we know from our turbos or superchargers. And from the airbox, it has only one way to go, and that's through the carburetors into the combustion chamber. And until now you're probably thinking that will work fine, right? It will not. Because our combustion process takes the air from our airbox, so all the air pressure we just created by getting air in this duct is gone already. What a shame! So to recreate that pressure, we just have to drive quicker because higher speeds equals higher air velocity equals higher air pressure. And that's why RAM air systems probably just get effective at like 200 kilometers an hour or something. And it's not that it doesn't work below those speeds, but you just don't get a significant gain in performance. So in my case, we can just get rid of this whole air duct because yeah, it just doesn't work for me. And that's just due to the fact I won't drive any quicker than probably 150 kilometers an hour with this thing. I mean, the bike where this engine came out of probably is capable of doing 270 kilometers an hour, but I'm just not willing to drive it quick with this buggy. Especially not when the hood is up. So that's why this RAM air system doesn't work for me. I hope you just enjoyed this video and understand a bit more about RAM air systems because they can be very difficult to understand. But if you understand now, let me know by liking this video and subscribing to my channel so you can always watch this build coming along. I hope to see you guys in the next episode and until then, have a good one. Bye.